compare two cohorts and refine them, I come to the top and click the plus compare cohort button. Here I have three different options for comparing. The first option, new cohort, adds in a blank cohort for the data set. I can see that no filters have been applied as all 100 patients are available. Additionally, I can see the distribution for the alternative cohort alongside the original cohort. To further understand the key, either I can use the colors within the cohort definition, or I can use the legend by clicking the up arrow and then hovering over the cohort of interest. If I want to start refining the second cohort, I can click add filter and begin defining my cohort. Here, I will just quickly say all individuals who have an entry date of January 2010 or after. As I apply those filters, my cohorts update and my distributions update. If I no longer need the alternate cohort, I can click the remove button and that cohort is removed. The second comparison method, which is particularly handy for case control use cases, is the copy method. When I click the compare cohort, I can click the copy cohort and it creates an identical copy to the original cohort. Now to create the control, I can select the filter and just change it to is before and now I have created the inverse of my other cohort and I can validate that it is in fact exclusionary. Once again I'll remove the cohort and now show the third option which is the select a previously saved cohort. Here when I select from project I can navigate to a previously saved cohort and I can select it, click the select data at the bottom and that cohort will load into the charts and load the definition. This allows me to compare multiple cohorts together and refine both cohort definitions so that I'm satisfied with the definition when I hand it off for further analysis.